I hate the word juicy. Keep on using it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Ricky and this is Ricky Tries. Today I'll be cooking butter chicken, one of my favorite dishes of all time. And it's so easy to make. And it's much healthier to make it at home with the ingredients that you know are going into it without the additional sugar and oil. I don't like it when it's ridiculously sweet. In my recipe, I only use one tablespoon of sugar. Some people use more, some people use less. But you do need that sugar to tone down the flavors of the tomato. I've always thought that it was a really intricate dish that involved a lot of steps. It only involves two steps. The first step is the chicken preparation, which you are making a chicken tikka. Basically, it's marinated chicken that you throw in the oven and place it on the grill, or if you have a barbecue, place it in the barbecue. What you want to do with the chicken is create a charred effect on the chicken that creates a lot of flavor and depth. The second phase of the recipe is to make the sauce. Once the sauce has simmered and has had time to develop flavors, then you throw the chicken into it. So it's a very simple dish involving two steps, chicken preparation, and the sauce. Firstly, let's start by preparing the chicken, the first phase of the dish. You want to grab your chicken thighs, pat them dry with a paper towel. What you want to do in a separate bowl is place the yogurt and add all the ingredients from the first phase except for the chicken in the bowl and mix them well together. Once it's well incorporated, add all these ingredients to the chicken and make sure you cover the chicken evenly with the yogurt mix. What the yogurt will do is prevent the chicken from over drying. Let's preheat the oven on the grill mode. What you want to do, cook the chicken on a very high heat. It will create a similar effect as using a barbecue. It will allow the chicken to get charred in certain points. On a tray, place baking paper or foil at the bottom just to help with cleaning later on. Then get a wire rack and place the wire rack on the tray. Now you want to place the chicken on top of the wire rack. Place it in the oven for about 18 minutes is actually very quick. It only takes about 15 to 18 minutes to cook. It's much quicker than you would think. Because it's on such a high heat, it's almost like a barbecue. So it's heating it up really high. So it's cooking it very thoroughly. So you want to turn the chicken halfway through. Now it's time for the sauce, phase two of the recipe. What you wanna do now is chop up one or two big onions. On a medium high heat, melt some butter in a pan. Once the butter has melted, add two chopped onions. Allow the onion to cook through for about four minutes. You can add in the ginger, followed by the garlic. Cook for a few more minutes. Now add all the dry ingredients, including the spices. Add the spices and allow this to cook for two minutes. Once the spices have become aromatic, add in the canned tomatoes. Allow the sauce and tomato mix to simmer for about 10 minutes. At this point, you wanna add a cup of water because we are about to blend the sauce with the Verinia Magica and it helps with the whole blending process. Once you have got the consistency you like, it's time to add in the chicken. Take the chicken out of the oven and cut it into nice big chunky pieces. Throw the chicken into the sauce. At this point, you want to add in the cream and give it a mix. Allow it to simmer for just a few minutes. At this point, add in the sugar and the salt. And this is where you want to taste the sauce to see where it's at. What I like to serve this with is obviously rice and also some paratha. Um, over here in Australia, we can easily get frozen paratha. And all you have to do is place it on a nice hot pan, out any oil for a minute or two. And once it's changed color all over, flip it over and repeat the process. The house smells like spice. I love how the spice just infiltrates the house and makes it so warm. See that? It's a little bit of paratha, nice and steamy. A little bit of paratha with the chicken. Just have a taste. I love butter chicken. The combination of the sugar and the cream together with all those spices is the perfect combination. Something that I didn't know was a huge impact with butter chicken is the grilled chicken. That charredness, that 
on the chicken really infuses into the sauce. My favorite combination of food is sweet and savory. It's got the spices and it's got the sweetness. It's got the sweetness of the cream, sweetness of the sugar, plus all the flavors and depth from the charred chicken and the spices all together. Together, this becomes a beautiful marriage of flavor. Butter chicken is just the best. I absolutely love this dish. For watching this video with me and for sharing this journey with butter chicken. It's been an absolute pleasure and I'll be making videos on a regular basis. I plan on making one to two videos a week. So if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing, just press the subscribe button and it will keep you up to date with my progress and with future videos. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye.